Hello community! Microsoft released a new product, Cosmos One. So let's have a look at this. There's from March 1st, 2023 here, a beautiful publication from Microsoft about multimodal large language models. And they call their system Cosmos One. And if you read the paper, you think, hey, there are some nice ideas inside. But then you read, Microsoft says it plans to make Cosmos One available to the developers. And current GitHub page has no Cosmos specific code available. And then I remember that I asked you about a week ago if you were interested that we code together some visual language system. And I said, hey, I'm going with a vision transformer, the latest transformer technology. And now not from Microsoft, the Bing chat, but a Flan T5 model from Google. So you voted 62 votes. Two thirds said about, yeah, show us the code. Let's code together. And one third also said, hey, yeah, we would like to understand a complete theory how to do this and how we can pre-train or fine tune those monster systems like Vision Transformer or Flying T5 systems. And so I started to code and the videos are ready now. So this is the cover of my first video. I combine here Vision Transformers with a Flying T5 system and the missing part to combine those systems is Blip2. So beautiful. And the second video that's already uploaded to Google, not released yet, is here a complete code example. I code here the Vision Transformer, the Flying T5 LLM, and I have here a complete code example where we build an app and I show you how it works. Now, if you combine this functionality with the result that Microsoft showed here in its Cosmos One paper, it is almost identical. Now, if you look at the solution here, you see that we use three transformer. We have here a vision transformer. We have here an LLM, and I use here a transformer architecture. And in the middle here, the combining element, the cubeformer, is also a transformer. So we have Apple, Apple, and Apple. And this is the easy thing, because we're going to freeze now the vision transformer and the language transformer. And we have the ability to fine tune each element individually. And maybe we do not even need a Microsoft supercomputer center who does everything for everybody in one step on a supercomputer. And I remember when I was looking for a technical solution, this was a research paper number 17. And you're not going to believe it. It's from Salesforce Research. And they described Blip. Of course, it is from end of January, so it's more than one month ago in research. This is a year, but a very nice idea. Never thought I would have any Salesforce paper. So have a look at this. Now, this here is my uh, uh, YouTube studio, my timeline. You see those last two videos are released. Today for me is March 2nd. And you see those videos are already uploaded, but they are triggered with a timer. And you see that these two videos that I talked to you about, let's have a little bit close up. They would start, they would be released on March 8th and March 10th. And now reading that Microsoft is not providing the code of Cosmos and not open source the code or anything at all, I thought, hey, maybe you would be interested that I release my two open source video with the code that you can go and you can build it this weekend. Of course, there's another beauty. This system here has a vision transformer as an individual part that you can go and fine tune the vision transformer. Let's say you are interested on a specific app, and this app is only about, I don't know, military helicopter, military weapon system. And you have, I don't know, 1,000 pictures of military helicopters. And you have about, I don't know, 1,000 books about the content of military helicopter. So you can train a vision transformer individually. Then you go and you train or fine tune your Flan T5 architecture and then just combine it with Blip2. So you have the advantage of going step by step. We have a modular approach and we do not need this Microsoft Azure supercomputing 
we have the ability to fine tune each system according to your needs. Of course, what comes out is not like in Microsoft, everything for everybody. This is a highly specialized app that I'm going to build here with you. And it will only know then about military helicopter. But for this, you have a visual Q&A ability that is second to none. So, of course, T5 and flying T5, there were a lot of questions from my viewers. The difference, and I have here six videos, how to fine tune uh, T5 and flying T5 system. So they will start to be released March 16, March 18, March 20, March 24. The first three is about um, fine tuning T5 and flying T5 LLMs. I show you here the complete code and give you the tutorial in PyTorch on a free call-up notebook. And then I have a little bit more professional code if you want. I show you how you can use this with Hugging Face Accelerate on a multi-GPU or multi-TPU environment. And then I have a video where I show you exactly if you're interested in the cost. How much does it cost just to fine tune a Flying T5 model with either we go with the 3 billion parameter or the 11 billion parameter model. I show you what it costs you. So this is my future timeline for the next two, three weeks. I want to release those videos that you know what is coming up. But I just wanted to tell you, you know, you don't have to wait for Microsoft Cosmos 1 and then everything is only on a Microsoft supercomputer. No, there are alternatives. Technology is available today. You can find them, you can combine them, you can code them, you can make them open source available. I share my code, whatever I learned with you. Have a look, code will be ready when the videos are released. It will be in a Jupyter notebook. And you can go, and if you're interested, if you want in the community tab, you can vote now for an early release of my Vision LLM videos. <laughs> so you can build your own Cosmos One in open source this weekend. You do not have to wait for some proprietary non-open source application that Microsoft might release to some developers. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you in my next video.